Northern KwaZulu Natal pupil Suhan Singh is flying the South African flag high. The young science whiz kid used a Lego kit to construct a robot to automate COVID-19 screening and sanitizing. He won a bronze medal at the 2020 ESCOM International Science Fair. Now he's virtually off to the U.S. He's representing the country in the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. So let's speak to that young genius now. Congratulations to you. So tell us a little bit more about the robot and what inspired you. So I designed a robot that was able to uh, automate the COVID-19 screening and sanitation process. With the onset of the pandemic, the method we used to screen and scan people into various uh, schools and stores is crude and primitive. So I began by thinking of a method that is able to improve this process. So I built a small robot that was able to both sanitize and scan someone's temperature simultaneously. It was then uh, would display the temperature that the person was. And from there, it could be entered into a, a database on an app that I coded. A QR code is used to scan the person in, which will take uh, which will take the, uh, the personnel on duty to the person's name, ID number, and from there they are able to enter the time and date that the person entered, their temperature and possible symptoms, as well as the time that they left. I mean, that's just brilliant. It just speeds up the process and it makes it a whole lot safer, doesn't it? Tell us why you use Lego. I use Lego because Lego is extremely simple and it's uh, affordable. Lego is also customizable, so you can change the design based on your container and uh, the level of hardware that you need. So when, wherever you need it, uh, it can be moved because of its portability and uh, its mobility. And the, uh, I've also been doing robotics for a while now, so it was uh, pretty common to me on how to use it and how to program it. <laughs> yeah, I should imagine that. The rest of us might find it a little bit difficult. Now, you are heading off to the U.S., or you're going to certainly be representing South Africa in the U.S. fair there. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I'll be representing South Africa virtually. So after I qualified from nationals, I went to internationals that was meant to be held in the U.S. But because of the COVID-19 uh, laws and regu uh, regulations, I won't actually go there. It will be done virtually via Zoom. So I'll present on Zoom and I'll be judged on Zoom. Okay, and how do you think you're going to do? I mean, are you aware of what the other uh, submissions have been? Um, I'm not really aware, but I hope I do well. I think I'm pretty nervous for uh, actually going. There's a lot of competitors, but it's exciting to know that I qualified. Well, it's nice to for you to know that the whole country will be behind you. We need you to win. Tell us what's next. You've done this Lego robot. What's the next one? Uh, I, I don't really have a plan. Right now, I'm focusing on school and hoping to pass so that I can become a design engineer and continue working um, on projects that can help humanity and optimize it. I hope to continue working in the fourth industrial revolution and may I create a process that is able to better life and help those in need. Gosh, we certainly need more people like you. I suspect you won't have a problem with your schoolwork. It sounds very good to talk to you, and we wish you the best of luck.